a lot of expensive aftermarket exhausts like this Yoshimura here start to look pretty bad after a couple years. Sitting in the sun, they get faded, scratched up. Luckily, it's really easy to fix. I found a replacement badge on eBay for about $11, shipped from Thailand. It only took a couple weeks, and it looks exactly like the factory original. And all you really need is a cheap riveting gun from Harbor Freight. It costs under $10 and comes with all the rivets you need to last for quite a while. So I'm going to jump in and show you exactly what I did. It's really simple. You don't need a lot of tools. Uh, drill, a couple appropriately sized drill bits, a punch or a small screwdriver so you can get the old rivets out, some cleaning supplies like paper towels and stuff, and of course a riveting gun. So first thing to do is just to get a drill bit, a little bit larger than the hole that's in the rivet. This will drill through the head of the rivet and it will pop right off on your bit. And just go around and do all four this way. And I use some carbide bits and my old Makita. You could use a hand drill or really any kind of metal bit. A little bit of WD-40 will help things go smoother or some cutting oil. The job is small, I didn't sweat too much what tools I was using. Any drill should be fine. And just very carefully pry the old badge off. Yuck. Good riddance. And just take a small screwdriver and kind of pop the old rivets out into the muffler. Now what you're going to end up with are four little pieces of metal floating around in your exhaust and that is not great. Uh, I'll be repacking in the near future so I'm not too worried but you might want to get creative in getting those out. Now to clean up, started with some Goo Gone. It's pretty crusty stuff under there. So this phase actually took a while, but I think it's worth taking 20 or 30 minutes to really get all the old gunk off there, make sure you have a clean working surface. And when you put the new badge on, you don't have dirt around the edges. Use this small plastic square to kind of scrape things off without damaging the muffler. I hit it with my heat gun for a little bit. You could also use boiling water and a washcloth. You could use a hair dryer, or you could just run the bike for a little bit and get the muffler warmed up. And that heat really helped out a lot. Mostly just elbow grease though. Now once we're clean, we can give it a quick spritz. I use a little bit of carb cleaner, just be really careful where you use carb cleaner. It can damage stuff quickly. And we have our new badge. Came with a little sticker. And a wonderful thank you note. Thank you. Now $11 on eBay. So I peeled the adhesive backing down halfway to start with, and then got the lines, uh, the holes lined up. Then just get the holes lined up on the top, kind of get it into place and use that adhesive backing to keep it there. And then we can go ahead and get our rivets. We use the smallest rivet size in the kit. Put the small end in, line it up, get both rivets in place, and then we can get our gun. Now there are a few different tip sizes. For these small rivets, I use the smallest tip size. Just make sure it's screwed in tightly. And we are ready to rivet. Just slide the gun on over the rivet on the long end. Push down somewhat firmly to make sure the rivet's placed against the muffler well. And give it one or two squeezes. And it will just pop right off. Remove the old needle. and then complete the other side. There you go. Two rivets. So now we can peel the rest of the adhesive backing off. Now slowly and carefully sort of work the badge down to make sure it's firmly pressed against the muffler and you don't have any gaps or bends or anything like that. And once I got it pressed all the way down, because I had to pry it up a tiny little bit at the bottom here, so I can get the rivet lined up without it creasing or bunching up. The 
vinyl rivet took a little bit of pressure to get it flush against the muffler. And we're riveted. I use this tiny hammer with a soft handle to kind of aid pressing it down, just make sure it's all in place. Peel off that protective coat. Use a razor blade to just do a little minor cleanup here. Wow. Big difference, huh? Very big difference. This this slip on looks brand new again. Cost eleven dollars in around ninety minutes.